Hi guys, I don't know which is worse, the fact that the heartless Tory government can find new ways to be cruel, or that a minister can find the whole thing pretty funny. Gillian Keegan, the Education Secretary, was interviewed by Kay Burley of Sky News about plans to criminalise homelessness at a time when there is a housing crisis. Why are they doing this? I believe it's a desperate attempt to demonise yet another section of society who have nobody to stand up for them for a few votes. Have a listen to this. Should rough sweepers be arrested if they're a nuisance? Well, of course, if somebody's acting aggressively or being a nuisance, then that is that is different. So, you know, the, the police are operating... What about if... They're, what about if but, sorry, you know, Secretary of State, we're running out of time. You were a little late to us. Um, what about if they smell? Sorry. The bill states that rough sleepers might be considered a nuisance if there's an excessive smell. So if you smell, you might be arrested. Well, I mean, I think the most important thing, as Not I say, funny. is sure we help people off the streets. Why is she laughing? Why does she think this is all so funny? Like, really, you know, this is a policy being brought in, of course, just to grab a few grubby votes before the general election. But to suggest that people who are homeless should be put in prison and because they're homeless, they're not able to access facilities to keep themselves clean. This is all quite funny. OK. No, I'm not saying it's funny. And I'm, I'm saying the most important thing is to help people off the streets. That's should why we're people be arrested if they smell into this. Well, no, people should not be arrested just uh, if they smell. But, of course, um, what we'll be doing is be considering any legislation. But, Kay, the most important thing is what we're doing, £2 billion, to make sure that we but help... Then why criminalise people if they the find themselves uh, into... sleeping rough? It's not a lifestyle choice, despite what Suella Braverman says. No, it's not a lifestyle choice. Normally people have, um, you know, uh, had a lot of hardship to before they got to that point. Um, and, you know, I've spoken to many people. In then why are you deciding to put them in prison? Like, you're saying it's not a lifestyle choice and you've explained, well, a lot of people are going through hardship and they end up on the street. Then how can you say that, well, it's worth putting them in prison? And if you actually care about spending money to, dis to resolve this problem then it's actually cheaper to build homes. It's act Just think about it for a moment. It's actually cheaper to build homes for homeless people than to put them in prison. It's more expensive to keep people in prison than to put them in a, in a physical home. What, what they actually need. If you actually build the homes, put people in them, then they won't be on the street and they won't smell and you won't have to laugh about it. In that situation, usually they'll, they'll have suffered some kind of breakdown or they'll be addicted to something and they need exactly. support and help into homes. However, you know, it is still not acceptable if people are threatening or there was some talk of, uh, you know, sort of aggressively begging near to cash points, etc. So that's, you know, you do have to get the balance and the, and the line right. So why the most why then include, the sorry, Secretary of State, it's much easier when you're in the studio, but um, we, we're out, almost out of time. Know, and you I'm are sorry. down the line. There is a slight delay. Why does the bill then say that rough sleepers might be considered a nuisance if there's an excessive smell? How ridiculous, some might say, to put that in the bill. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I haven't looked at that uh, detail of it. But, I mean, I, I guess the word is excessive and I don't, know, uh, I don't know what they mean then. But it's really about making sure that we support people but also we make sure that, um, you know, people feel safe in, uh, on our streets and, you know, okay. to go around our streets and it's a, you know, pleasant environment. That's what we spend a lot of time and our police spend a lot of time trying to make sure that okay. we all feel safe. How are you supporting people by putting them in prison? How are you supporting people by saying you're in engaging in crim criminal behaviour even though it's not your fault? Like, there is a housing crisis. The Tories have refused to build enough social and affordable housing over the last 14 years. This is why there are so many people on the street. There's a record numbers of homelessness. And their solution is, what we're going to do is we're going to turn these people into criminals. There was talk of a fine of £2,000. How are homeless people supposed to pay a fine of £2,000? And if they can't pay the fine, they go into prison. And then what happens? They, this creates other problems, social problems. Instead, it would be a lot cheaper in the long term, better for society as well, to create, to build homes for the homeless. Now, maybe the decision is, well, we better not do that because that would <laughs> show us as caring. It would actually solve the problem. If they truly cared about solving the problem, they would build homes for the homeless.
But instead, they have to go down this cruelty route. They have to try and grab at the last few votes. There's a few people out there who are upset about homelessness. We'll appear tough. Because that seems to be the, the game. Don't actually try to resolve the problem. Just appear tough. There are a lot of cruel people out there. We want to win over their vote. It's pathetic. And it's not fixing the problem. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.